Today, Stuart Thomas is living his life with HIV. Diagnosed in 1986, he knows how important it is to be tested. If you have the opportunity to get tested for HIV, and there's so many different places that you can test for free, why, why wouldn't someone want to find out more information about their health? The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention revised its guidelines recommending widespread rapid HIV screening in emergency departments and other health care settings. Its goal was to identify more HIV cases than physician-directed testing. Routine opt-out rapid HIV screening tested a large number of patients, in fact about 30 times the number of patients when compared to physician-directed diagnostic testing. It also increased the number of new diagnoses by about three Fold. Dr. Jason Hocus from the Denver Health Medical Center and co-authors evaluated the effectiveness of the revised guidelines by offering testing to nearly all patients treated in the Denver Health Medical Center's emergency department from April 2007 to April 2009. The study alternated the opt-out testing and the physician-directed testing every four months. It's a rapid test. You'll get it back during your emergency department visit today. Offering routine opt-out rapid HIV screening in an emergency department setting uh, does allow for us to test more patients. Unfortunately, it only allowed for a slightly increased number of diagnosed HIV-infected patients. The study appears in a theme issue on HIV-AIDS in this week's JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. This actually flies a little bit in the face of what the CDC recommendations call for because they are calling for relatively widespread testing uh, in this particular setting using this particular approach. And it turns out that it didn't work probably quite as well as everyone hoped. Another goal of the revised recommendation was that routine screening would identify patients earlier in their disease. In our study, the majority of patients identified with newly diagnosed HIV infection were found late in their disease course, effectively AIDS-defined. Stuart Thomas says he never forgets he is HIV positive because it's part of who he is, but only part. I like working. I have a great set of friends. I'm, I'm, I'm living my life, and I'm living my life with HIV. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.